Hello, and welcome to Qigong, Chinese yoga, a medicinal practice to move the life force, the qi or the prana. I'm Michael. Please join me for this lovely practice. We're going to begin with some warm ups, and if you notice, I don't have a mat. We're going to be standing the whole time, standing on the floor. So if you do decide to use a mat, that is also fine. But let's begin with some deep, expansive belly breath, finding yourself standing in mountain pose. Feel the belly expand forwards, backwards, sideways, up and down on the inhale. And on the exhale, feel the navel draw to spine, the pelvic floor engage. And as you're ready, let's step the left foot out about 12 inches, maybe a little more, hip to shoulder width, the toes point straight ahead. We're going to begin by tapping the shoulder that we're looking over, the back of the hand tapping the kidneys or the buttocks. Now, this particular movement is to awaken the spine. And the tapping is to awaken the flow of life force, of chi or prana. So these gentle taps over the shoulder to the kidney or to the buttocks will help to stimulate the meridian the channels that energy flows in our body. Whether it is Indian yoga or Chinese yoga, the principles are the same. Deep, expansive belly breath through the nose. And now we're going to shift to outside of the thighs. So you can look backwards as you sway and you twist. You are trying to see both heels. Tapping with the palm on the side you're turning towards. The back of the hand tapping on the opposing side. Can you see your heels? Natural, deep, expansive belly breath. Inhaling and exhaling. So we want to try to equalize the length of inhale with the length of exhale. Noticing the quality of your breath, the quality of your movement. There's no judgment. It's awareness. If we need to soften, if we need to direct the flow of energy, think about where there may be stuck energy. Can you soften? Can you open up there? Can you send the breath to that area? Couple more. And then come back. Big sweep with the arms up behind you. The glutes engage over the top. We'll come down, hinging from the hips, bending the knees, sinking tailbone now gentle fist, pull back and in. And then big sweep up, over. Exhaling down. Draw back and in. Up, over. Fantastic. Find the gentle Buddha smile. Asking yourself throughout the practice, what's happening now? What are you aware of? Let's do one more. Now on this next one, finish hanging upside down. So let the legs straighten. The arms can dangle or you can bring the hands to the shins. Relax the head. So the crown of the head is stretching down to the ground. You can shift the weight forwards into the balls of the feet. Bring the hips over the ankles. <clears throat> and the deep, expansive belly breath. 
So we're opening up the back fascia line here and you say, oh, okay, interesting. That's to awaken the bladder, the kidneys, the water element. And we're compressing the front side of the body. Inhaling up now, left, big circles up left, sweeping the arms up, exhaling as we come down on right. Finding your perfect movement with your breath. Deep, expansive belly breath. Think of the rising sun. Let's do two more. We'll finish hanging upside down. Shifting the weight into the balls of the feet. Straightening the legs, relax the crown, and then as you're ready, inhaling upright, big circles upright, exhaling down, left. So here we have a bit of a spiral movement and lateral movements. Noticing the quality of your breath, asking yourself, what's happening now? Equalizing length of inhale with length of exhale. Let's do two more. On the second one, finish hanging upside down just as before. Shifting the weight forwards into the balls of the feet, straighten the legs, relax the head. Let the hands and arms dangle or bring the hands to the shins for a little support. Let's straighten your legs, bring the hips over the ankles as best you can. That will help you press down to the balls of the feet. The balls of the feet is the beginning of the kidney meridian. Kidneys are the seat of our energy. So in our society, a lot of us suffer from depleted kidney energy. The adrenal glands sit on top of your kidneys. So here we're helping to boost energy, finding some balance. Big breath, reverse swan dive up. Inhaling up, stretching all the way up to the heavens. Now this next one, we're going to open and close the hands very fast. Let the shoulders slide down the back, and then begin to open and close the hands faster and faster. You can close your eyes if you like, but keep breathing deeply, straighten the arms as best you can. Open and close, open and close. Doesn't matter how you do it, just do it as quickly as you can. With the deep, expansive belly breath. Now you will notice there's probably some fatigue that's setting in. Excellent, keep going, keep going. Deep belly breath, don't forget to breathe. And then begin to slow. Slowly let the arms open out and down. Slowly they're migrating out and down. Excellent. And then begin to shake those hands and forearms. Shake them deep belly breath. Now we're cultivating some life force here. You can alternate if you like. Have some fun with it. Let's shake vigorously. Imagine some ants crawled onto your hands and you're like, go away. Deep belly breath. And then begin to slow the shaking. And inhale, open out in front of what we call the lower burner, the lower dantian. It means elixir field. Inhale out in yoga. Whether Indian or Chinese yoga, we uh, talk about it as the hara, the belly area, the place of first breath. Inhaling out, exhaling in. What are you aware of now? 
And then letting the hands come in, we'll bring them to the hips. So find the top of the pelvic girdle, thumbs behind, begin to circle. You choose the direction that speaks to you. This is known as stirring the soup. And we're tugging on the internal abdominal organs. And we're awakening the pelvic region, the creative chakra, and working into our solar plexus, the strength, power chakra. Deep, expansive belly breath. Equalizing length of inhale with exhale. Soften in the knees, soften in the ankles. Soften in the face and the shoulders. Let yourself maybe close your eyes or have a soft gaze. And then coming back to neutral, let's go the other way. Whatever the other way is for you. Inhaling and exhaling. So we are touching upon every part of your being. Through these movements, stimulating the flow of life force, the healing energies physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, you will be cleansed, awakened, enlivened. Daily practices in the tradition of Qigong and Tai Chi. And coming back to neutral now, let's bring the hands up to the waist. Little circles with the tailbone, so tiny circles, very subtle. You chose a direction to go with that you can visualize, feel these movements of the tailbone. And then back to neutral, go the other way now. Deep, expansive belly breath. Excellent. Coming back to neutral now. You can still keep the eyes closed or maybe open them if you like. We'll be careful now to not strain sacral lumbar spine. We're going to tuck the tailbone forwards on an inhale, exhale backwards. Forwards on an inhale, exhale backwards. Forwards on an inhale, exhale backwards. And forwards on an inhale, exhale backwards. One more time. Forwards and backwards. Excellent. Sweep the arms up to the heavens. Gathering fresh, universal life force. Exhale as we push down. Cleansing, purging, keep the spine long. Inhale as we lengthen up. Exhale as we press down. And inhale. Now, now we're going to come down again, this time bend the knees. Place the hands on top of the knees, just on the thighs, but just above the knees. Thumbs on the inside. Take the knees left to right. So this particular Movement is important for the knees and the ankles, and to some degree into the groin area. But allowing for the pressure to change on the feet. If you are a skier, this is a wonderful practice to do. But it is also quite nice if you play tennis. Any kind of activity where you are having to adjust the direction. If you walk a lot, this strengthens your ankles and your knees. Helps you to not drag your feet. And coming back to neutral, go the other way. Right to left. Checking back in with the deep, expansive belly breath. What 
are you aware of now? If the mind is wandering, come back to the breath. And maybe I should say, when the mind wanders, come back to the breath. And the third eye. Coming back to neutral. Let's take the knees now forwards, out away from each other, backwards and inwards. So you'll notice you're rolling onto the sides of the feet. Excellent. So here we're tapping into the organ systems that are in the lower extremities. And still flow up through the torso and some even up higher than that into the head. Come back to neutral, go backwards. So those would be the stomach, gallbladder, bladder, spleen, kidney, and liver. So these movements, very good for them with the deep, expansive belly breath. Excellent, let's do two more. Then we'll come up to standing, sweeping the arms up once again. Nice, big sweep up. We'll bring the hands together, interlace the 10 fingers, bring the elbows down right about chest level. I'll turn a little sideways so you can see me. And we're going to rub one arm up and down. So we're rolling with the wrists here. But we're rubbing the arms together. So it's like rubbing two sticks together to start a fire. Deep belly breath. Hopefully your arms won't catch on fire, but you'll feel a little warmth, no doubt. And then go the other way. Finding deep, expansive belly breath. Isolating the wrists. And then we'll stop. Coming back to neutral, lowering the arms down to the sides. Inhales, let's sweep up again. Exhale, press down. We'll do three of these. This is the first one, purging each time you get an opportunity. Inhale, this is very important. It's also a signification for a change in a movement. Resetting our internal temperature, clock, balance arms coming down. Now, for the female gender, I'd like you to take your right foot back and curl the toes under as I'm demonstrating, and I'll turn a little to the side as well. For the male, it is left, curl the toes under, or you can switch up the gender if you like. Circle around top and then bottom of the foot to the floor. Now, be careful not to scrape your toes as well. Sometimes the surfaces can be a little challenging, but nine times around, Top and bottom foot to the floor. So very good for the ankle again. Also the liver and the kidneys. So you've done nine one way, go nine the other way. So there's a soft bend in the standing leg. That helps you to stabilize. Some of you might want to use a wall or a chair to support yourself. When you're finished with nine and nine, now what I'm going to do is I turn the top of the foot down to the floor and I'm going to bend my standing leg more and I press down, very strong press, very good for the stomach. You say, well, my stomach's not in my foot. That's okay, the stomach meridian runs from the foot up. So we're working with that channel. So if there's digestive challenges, Hugely beneficial to do this. You can do this when you're at work or at the office, school, anytime, and then switch. Now we switch to the other foot. I'll come back to standing normal. And then just begin with your other foot, top and bottom to the floor. Hopefully you didn't scrape your toes. <laughs> nine times one way. So nine, why nine? Nine is an auspicious number for longevity. Go the other way. And that is true in both Indian yoga and Chinese yoga. You can think, hmm, 108. Oh, you probably know that if you have malas. 
Well, what is 108? Nine times 12, right? And one and two of 12 make three, and three times three is nine. Oh, see? Interesting things play with numbers. Okay, so if you've done 99, root down to the top of the foot. And what is 108 equal? Nine. One, zero, and eight. So we come back to neutral. The feet are facing straight ahead. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up to the heavens. And exhale, push down. And inhaling up. And exhale, pushing down. And one more. And then we're going to work into the throat chakra and the gates of consciousness. The arms come down, lower the head. Take the chin to the right shoulder, up and around and down to the left. Deep, expansive breath. Belly breath. That inhale begins the tailbone up the abdominal cavity through the thoracic cavity to the crown. With the third eye, then exhaling down the front. This navel draws the spine. And the pelvic floor engages. But don't overthink it. Be with it. Let the breath be as natural as you can. Initially, yes, there's effort and some thought to remind ourselves, but over time it goes away. Excellent. Equalizing length of inhale with length of exhale. Let's do one more. Finishing with the head down. And as you're ready now, go left to right, turning the chin, coming up and over and around. What are you aware of now? Let's do three more. Finishing with the head down after the third full circle. And then slowly, slowly you can raise the head up. Excellent. And as you do, inhale, sweep the arms up to the heavens. Exhale, let's push down again. Cleansing and purging. Bend the knees if you like. Sink the tailbone. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, using the nose as the vehicle for the breath, inhaling up, exhaling down. Arms come down to the sides. Now we're going to finish here by bending at the elbows and bending at the wrists, the feet, hips width apart, toes straight ahead, begin to bounce. Now you may say this seems quite silly, but it's actually very powerful marvelous for cultivating energies for the kidneys. It's called bouncing. Think of yourself as a mere cat or a prairie dog. Perhaps you remember jumping around in one of those big inflatable objects at, at a party or the fair, who knows, wherever you might have done it, maybe even on the bed. So the kidneys are being jostled. So are the rest of the organs in both the abdominal and thoracic cavity. This is great for helping to build some bone density. Keep going, deep belly breaths. Notice if you're holding tension. So sometimes we get concerned like, oh, people might think I'm silly doing this. Don't worry about it, just enjoy it. And this should help to bring a natural Childlike enthusiasm, fun, joy to you. The point of it is, as I said, to boost kidney energy. Keep bouncing. Asking yourself, what's happening now? What are you aware of? Right now, you haven't left the ground, you're lengthening your spine. 
working with your entire body, jostling all of the internal organs. Deep, expansive belly breath. Focus on the breath, focus on the third eye. Keep going. So I like to do this for a few minutes. You may say that seems like a long time, but it is a comprehensive experience. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, keep going. What's coming up for you? If you have continuous thoughts pouring in, come back to the breath, come back to the third eye. But what are you aware of? Maybe it's that oh, I feel a little more calm. I have a little bit more clarity in my thoughts, in my head. I feel more joyful. I'm more present. Maybe it's the soles of my feet feel heavy, warm. Lengthening through the crown as it stretches to the heavens, the feet tethered with Mother Earth. Excellent. Keep going just a little longer. Deepen the breath, even as we bounce. Many, many bounces on an inhale. Many, many bounces on the exhale. Are you holding tension in your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, your face, your hips, knees, ankles? Can you soften in those areas at all, a little bit? You found that groove now. Let's begin to slow the bouncing. Tiny bounces. And then stop the bouncing. Notice if your mirror cat prairie dog paws want to stay in the air. Deep, expansive belly breath. So we have just cultivated a great deal of life force. Perhaps this is the first time you've ever been aware of it. Maybe you don't feel it yet. Notice what's happening with your forearms and your hands. What sensations are you aware of? Taking some nice, deep, full cyclical breaths from the tailbone, up the back, the sides through the chest, over the crown, to the third eye, exhaling down the front as navel draws to spine. We have just touched upon all of the meridians, worked with conception and governing vessels, a couple of the extraordinary vessels, given you uh, opportunity to enhance your own life force. Nothing was left out here. 
What are you aware of now? And if the arms want to come down, maybe they already are, maybe they're still in the air, let them, maybe help them come down a bit. And then we'll sweep up and out, up and out to the sides, overhead, gathering fresh, universal chi, pushing down, sealing in the practice through the feet. This time we'll inhale up the midline of the body, the palms facing you up over the shoulders, turning them around the back of the head, up over the head, pressing down the front, sealing in the practice through the legs. And finally, inhales as we sweep up, gathering fresh universal chi, pushing down, sealing in the practice through the whole body bringing the hands to the belly. Now, female is right hand to the belly, male is left, the other hand over top, switch the gender up if you like. Close the eyes for a moment and feel the imprint of the class. Allow for the integration. And slowly, slowly, you can begin to open the eyes as we take the arms out to the sides. They'll come up from about chest level inwards, making a gentle fist with the right hand, the left encapsulating it. The ching on, ching, ping on, health, happiness, and harmony to you. Thank you.